In this video, we're saying goodbye to the MailChimp pop-up form and saying hello to the Hustle plugin for WordPress by the WPMU dev team. So let's get started. One thing I wish MailChimp would improve upon is its pop-up form features. They're so basic and limited. Plus you have to add code to your website to make the pop-up form even work. Fortunately for us, WordPress website owners, there are a multitude of plugins, both free and paid, that will provide us with the features we need and integrate with our favorite email service providers like MailChimp. One such plugin is the Hustle plugin. So I've logged into my WordPress website and I went over to plugins, clicked on add new plugin and did a search for Hustle. I've already installed it and activated the plugin. With the plugin installed, if we scroll down, we're gonna see at the very bottom of our admin list here, it's called Hustle and then we can go to the dashboard. And we got a little pop-up when we go to the dashboard saying that they've improved accessibility and visibility. That's great to see in a plugin. I'm gonna click on, I got it. So on the dashboard, you'll get to see your active modules, how they're converting. There's also a view documentation that you can take a look at, some tutorials you can take a look at, and how many pop-ups you have, embeds, slide-ins, all that good stuff. And also an option to update to the pro version of the Hustle plugin. So I've already created a test pop-up, but I'm gonna create a new pop-up because that's what this video is about. Click on create pop-up and it's gonna ask for a name. This is an internal option that you create. So we're just gonna do, and we're gonna do an email opt-in or you can do informational. So our goal here is for a person to opt-in and then receive a 10% savings discount on our store. We're gonna click on choose template and they have 18 pre-designed templates that we can customize or you can start from scratch. Since this one is about spring and it already has 10% in, Let's take a look at this one. And what it does is it pulls up a preview of your homepage and with the pop-up on it, that's really cool. And it'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like. I think we'll use this one. So we'll click out of the preview and click on choose template. Now we're in edit pop-up mode. So in the title, we're gonna call it spring collection sale, exclamation point, and we'll keep the subtitle in there. And we're gonna keep in the image and not use a featured image. And we'll just keep on off all items since we're just doing a demo here. We're not gonna do a call to action here. We're gonna make sure that never see this again link is on, which it will say, no thanks, I'm not interested at the very bottom of our pop-up. And then from here, we can go on to emails. We want to have their email and we might as well collect their first name. So we will do name and click on insert field, and then we can swap these around. So we'll have the name first and email is required. If you want the name required, you can click on that little cog there, click on edit field, and then click into settings and make it required here. So we'll just exit out of that. So we have our name, email, you can add other form fields if you wish. The success message is, thank you for joining our list. Your discount code is spring 10. So when they go shopping, it'll tell them what their discount code is, or you could redirect them to another page with the same amount of information. That's totally up to you. And then we have the option here to auto close success message. And I think we'll do that after a specified time and five seconds is fine. And you do have an option here to do an automated email, which will send it to the subscriber. If we check that off, we can do instant, a delay and a schedule. We're not gonna do it through this program. We're gonna be doing it through our integration with MailChimp. So we will turn that off. Let's go down to the next step, integration. And we'll notice here that they've already got this thing called local list. So the local list stays on WordPress and the email list will be called 10% savings and we can click save on that and it will be saved to our local list and we'll be able to see our subscriptions to the, the Hustle plugin. But we want to do our integration with MailChimp. So before we click on integrations, let's go up the top here and save our draft. So that's been saved. And then we'll go click on integrations, which will take us to our integrations tab. We've got a local list and look at the available integrations that they have. Active campaign, convert kit, get response, all the usual ones that you probably are using, but we want MailChimp. So we'll click on the add integration from MailChimp. The next thing we have to do is go to MailChimp and get our API key. And if we click on MailChimp account here, it will take us over after we log in where we can create a new API key. You can see here, I already have one available, but I can revoke that one and create a new one. So let me revoke it. And then we'll create a key. We'll call this Hustle Pro 2 and click on Generate Key. Copy to clipboard, click Done. Go back to the Hustle plugin, paste in our API key code, and we'll give it a business identifier. 
and we'll just call this demo two and click on connect. We'll get a message that says MailChimp has successfully connected and we'll see that it's now listed as a connected app. Let's go back to our pop-up form and make sure that anyone who fills out that form goes to our MailChimp list. So we'll go to pop-ups. Here's our 10% savings. We'll click on edit. We'll go down to the integrations over here on the left and we now have MailChimp available. So we're gonna click on the plus to add the integration, this is our demo to, we're gonna click continue. It's gonna ask us what list do we want to add these contacts to. We'll select our test, test, test list, and we can automatically opt in new users to our mailing list. So we'll check that off and click continue. The thing with tags in the Hustle plugin is that you cannot create tags on the fly. You'll only be able to apply tags that have already been created with your audience list in MailChimp. For example, if we go over back to our MailChimp, we go to our audience dashboard and our test, test, test list, go to settings, then go to our tags. We can create a new tag by using the button right up here called create tag. And we can call this 10% off and click create. Then if we go back to our pop-up, if we click back on this so it refreshes, then click continue and then type in a tag here, we'll get 10% off. Choose that tag that we just created. You can choose more than one tag if you wish, but we'll just click continue. So now that we have our MailChimp connection in there and we have the tag applied for anyone who fills out this pop-up form, we'll get the 10% discount code as well as opt in to our mailing list. I don't want to have the email list stored locally on my database, on my website. But what I'll do here is I'll click on the configure integration and I will disconnect this integration. So that will be removed. So our only active app at this point is MailChimp. Then we'll go down to appearance. So under the appearance tab, you have a lot of features that I won't be going through each and every one, but you can customize the elements that are in your pop-up form. In this case, that's what we're creating. So we have a featured image, the background image. You can change the background image size, positioning, how you want it to repeat or not repeat. Choose a close icon and where you want to position the icon. In the topography, you can choose the font or you can have it inherit your font from your website. You could use default fonts. On the font styles, you can stylize the title, the subtitle, the main content. You can have different color choices. You could do gray slate, coffee, ectoplasm. That sounds like fun. Let's choose that one. There are a lot of features here, a lot of customizations that you can do to your form. For now though, we're gonna click on visibility and then we're gonna set up conditions on when and where this pop-up is gonna show. And by default, it shows up everywhere, but we don't want it to show up everywhere. We only want it to show up on one particular page. So we're gonna click on add conditions. So under general, we're gonna select pages and then click on add conditions. All pages except, or we could do only these pages. So we're gonna do only these pages and we're gonna type in the name of the page that we want this pop-up to show up on. And by default, if you click in there, it's gonna list out all of your pages. We're gonna click on the contact page and you can add additional conditions or you can add conditional groups. Now we get into behaviors. You can set a schedule when you want this pop-up to start and stop. So we click on schedule. We want it to start immediately or we could say never and never end, or we could have an end date on this, or we could have it only on weekdays or every day. We're gonna leave it the default, but you do have those options there. Then you have an option for pop-up trigger. So you can set a time delay. And if we click on here, we could say maybe five seconds and not three. There are a few other triggers that you can activate, but we're just gonna keep on with the timed trigger. Additional settings that you have for behavior is animation. If you want it to have pop up or bounce in from the right or the left, or you could do the pop up exit animation if you want it to bounce out and the same thing. Let's turn on bounce in and we're gonna turn on bounce out when someone clicks exit. There are a lot more other features here that you can go through, but for now though, we're just gonna click on publish and we'll see it's ready to go. So all we have to do now is go to the contact page and test it out. So as you can see there, we had our bounce in animation. And what we're gonna do now is test everything out. So we're gonna put on our name, we're gonna put in an email address, make sure we get that success message. And then we're also gonna go over to the MailChimp side to make sure that we got that tag 10% off added to our contact. So we have our name, our email address, we'll click on get discount code. 
We'll get our success message saying spring 10 is our discount code, which we can apply to the store. Probably put a link in there to the store so people can click on that to get the discount and apply the discount. But for now though, we'll just kind of click out of this and we'll see a bounce out animation like so. Now let's go to MailChimp and check it out there. So here's the contact that we just filled out that form with. And if we scroll over, we now have a 10% off tag applied to this contact. So that's a quick look at the Hustle plugin, at least from a pop-up perspective. If you have any questions about the plugin, WordPress or MailChimp, post those in the comments below. And I have a question for you. What is your favorite pop-up plugin for WordPress? Let me know. Thanks as always for watching. If you're interested in learning more about MailChimp or WordPress, there's a couple of videos here that you can go check out and I'll see you in the next video.